Why are two witnesses who are women equivalent to only one witness who is a man? It is fully false. That only one male witness is considered as equal to two female witnesses for all cases. It is true only for one certain case. You will find only one verse in the glorious Holy Quran. That says two female witnesses are equal to one male witness for one certain case. But all other verses in the glorious Holy Quran that mention witnesses, without specifying male or female. There are six verses regarding witnesses. The specific verse regarding two female witnesses are equal to one male witness is Surah Baqarah, chapter 2 verse 282. This is the longest verse in the glorious Holy Quran and deals with debt contracts. It says, O you who have believed when you contract a debt for a specified term, write it down, and let a scribe write it between you in justice. Let no scribe refuse to write as God has taught him, so let him write and let the one who has the obligation dictate, and let him fear God, his Lord, and not leave anything out of it. But if the one who has the obligation is of limited understanding a weak, or unable to dictate himself, then let his guardian dictate in justice and bring to witness two witnesses from among your men, and if there are not two men available, then a man and two women from those whom you accept as witnesses, so that if one of the women errs, then the other can remind her, and let not the witnesses refuse when they are called upon, and do not be too weary to write it whether it is small or large for its specified term, that is more just in the sight of God, and stronger is evidence and more likely to prevent doubt between you except when it is an immediate transaction which you conduct among yourselves. For then there is no blame upon you if you do not write it, and take witnesses when you conclude a contract. Let no scribe be harmed or any witness, for if you do so, indeed, it is grave disobedience in you. And fear God, and God teaches you, and God is knowing of all things. This verse of the glorious Holy Quran deals only with debt contract. For such cases, it is always recommended to make a contract in writing between the parties and take two witnesses, preferably both of two witnesses which should be men only. In case if anybody cannot find two men, then one man and two women would suffice. You have to understand that the social culture of that time and recent time were not similar. Country to country culture vary. In pregnancy, sometimes women cannot respond to many events. In many culture women migrate to husband place after getting married. In some man-dominated society some time wife follow her husband's view and belief. For example, suppose one person wants to undergo a surgery for a particular ailment. To confirm the surgery, he would prefer taking references from two expert surgeons. In this example if he is unable to find two expert surgeons, his other option would be two general doctors who play an MBBS and one expert surgeon. Similarly in debt contract, two men are preferred. In Islamic society men to be the breadwinners of the families. Since main financial responsibility is shouldered by men, they are expected to be well versed in debt contract as compared to women. As a other option, the witness could be two women and one man, so that if one of the women errs the other can remind her. The word used in the Holy Quran is tajil, which means to err or confused. Many have wrongly translated this word as to forget, but correct translation is to err or confused. Other witnesses related verses of the glorious Holy Quran are presented in following. While making a bequests or will of inheritance, two persons are necessary as witnesses. In chapter 5 verse 106 the glorious Holy Quran says, O you who believe, call to witness between you when death draws night one of you. At the time of making the will, two just persons from among you, or two others from among others than you, if you are travelling in the land and the calamity of death befalls you. The two witnesses you should detain after the prayer. Then if you doubt them, they shall both swear by God, saying, We will not take for it a price, though there be a relative and we will not hide the testimony of God, for then certainly we should be among the sinners. In chapter 65, verse 2, in the Holy Quran, God says, Thus when they fulfill the term appointed, either take them back on equitable terms, or part with them on equitable terms. 
and take for witness two persons from among you, endued with justice, and establish the evidence as before God. Such is the admonition given to him who believes in God in the last day. And for those who fear God, he ever prepares a way out in Islam two persons endued with justice in case of divorce. In the Holy Quran, chapter 24, verse 4, God says, And those who accuse chaste women and then do not produce four witnesses lash them with eighty lashes and do not accept from them testimony ever after. And those are the defiantly disobedient. There are one particular verse of the glorious Holy Quran from chapter 24. Verse 6 clearly equates one female witness with one male witness. In that verse God says, And those who accuse the wives of adultery and have no witnesses except themselves, then the witness of one of them shall be four testimonies swearing by God that, indeed, he is of the truthful, the seeming in Islam. Inequality of male and female witnesses in debt contract is not due to any inequality of the sexes. It is only due to the different natures and roles of men and women in society. Here I attached some feminist women's video who were converted to Islam after a long research. Please subscribe to our channel. Kindly like, share and comment on our videos. If anyone benefits because of your like and share. Then God may provide you with unlimited reward which is called Sadaqat al-Jariyah in Islam. Sadaqat al-Jariyah is continuous rewards received for good actions, deeds and spreading knowledge. It is a gift that not only benefits us in this life, but also benefits us and our loved ones in the hereafter. According to the Hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, narrated by Muslim. When a person dies, all the deeds end except three. A continuing charity, beneficial knowledge, and a child who prays for them.